Hey guys, Blood right here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Wine Cellar on PlayStation. <laughs> I was going to say PS1. Uh, PlayStation 1 long boxes. This is Geom Cube. Basically, um, it's Tetris in a 3D perspective. Um, is from what I got from the back of the box. But uh, speaking of my box, uh, this is one of the, the weird cardboard ones that it's all in one piece. Uh, I've got the instruction manual, which is really, really thin. Um, probably because this game is not that complicated, uh, it, like controls and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, box is in pretty good shape. Um, you know, only major flaws is a little bit of damage down there on the bottom. And what an opening menu. Uh, one player, two players, or config. <laughs> I guess we're just going to face a computer, I guess. Tetris. Um, and I'm gonna embarrass myself here, but I am just forewarning everybody I am the worst at Tetris games. Um, I just great game and a great franchise, but I just, I have always sucked at these kind of games. Sorry, not much talking there, guys. Uh, with these games, I, I have to focus. Um, or I just... Yeah. That is weird. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's the best two out of three. Finally started getting, getting the hang of the controls here. To be able to look different perspectives and stuff. That's a horrible place to put that.
flip it and... actually won. <laughs> I, I don't know what the difficulty is, but all right. Well, guys, I mean, I, I th there's not much else to say other than it's um, it's 3D Tetris <laughs> and there's no storyline or, you know, campaign or um, it's literally just play against the computer, play an in infinite or play against your friends. And apparently there's some samurai guy involved. <laughs> So maybe the oh. oh okay I guess you, you face a bunch of different okay and it probably does get harder as you go well I mean that's all I could really say about the game guys um it's fun um the the one complaint especially in a 3D perspective is when you have pieces kind of like the one that you can see floating up there um if you place it you know like that straight down you can't see the holes. Um, in regular Tetris, obviously you can see all your holes and, and know wh what needs filling and stuff like that. So it's an all right game. Um, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to tear it too much because I just, I'm not a, I'm not a good Tetris player, especially, especially in a 3d perspective. I cannot believe I actually, uh, pulled those two wins out, but thank you guys so much for tuning in and just hanging out with me for over these uh, few minutes as we play this game. Um, stay with us for the next episode. Uh, if you are new to our channel, thank you so much for uh, checking us out and, um we have tons of these videos i still I, this is barely the g's i still have to get through the entire alphabet of the playstation one log boxes so we're you know we're about halfway there so thanks again guys for tuning in we appreciate you stay grooving Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of the Wine Cellar Project on PS1 Long Boxes. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel for more of the Wine Cellar Project. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you know when videos like this go live.